Hey everyone, Matt Morris. Welcome to another episode of the Unemployed Millionaire Show. This is part four of how your belief systems are shaped here in the Opryland Hotel here in Nashville, Tennessee. So uh, we've covered the number one and number two ways that your belief system is shaped. If we'll just recap here. Uh, number one is the experiences that you've had. Number two is your external programming. It's what other people have said about you. And then number three, the third way your belief systems are shaped is you may have guessed that your internal programming and here's the great thing is the most powerful by far the most powerful way that your belief system is shaped is number three here it's your internal programming it's what you say and what you think about yourself so here's what you have you must be mindful of is the thoughts that you think about yourself you need to be conscious to the fact that those need to be empowering thoughts so everything that you think about yourself and everything you say about yourself needs to be empowering. Now, here's the thing where I was when I was in my you know, early 20s, got started in business. Uh, actually, I was 18 and you know, I mentioned it. I was broke. I was uh, you know, this broke college student, ambitious, hardworking, some good things, but always struggling, right? And so what was common for me on a daily basis was, gosh, I'm so broke. Gosh, I'm so stupid. Gosh, I'm whatever. And once I understood the power of your subconscious mind, you see every thought, every action, every word that you speak is an entry into your subconscious mind. And what happens is your being, your identity is made up of the sum total of the thoughts that you have thought, the uh, words that you've spoken and actions that you've done. So what you wanna do is make sure you're filling your subconscious mind which is your you know, internal computer, it's who creates who you are, it's what creates your identity. Fill that with empowering beliefs, empowering thoughts and empowering words about yourself. So what I had to do is every time I said, I'm so broke, I had to just consciously think, no, nope, flip it around, I'm so wealthy. And I, I would think to myself, I'm broke. And I would just flip that thought around and say, I'm so wealthy or I'm a millionaire. You know what? Here's what's interesting is I told myself I was a millionaire thousands of times before I ever experienced becoming a millionaire. So that's the key here is just fill your mind, your subconscious mind with empowering thoughts. Now here's the most interesting thing is that your subconscious mind does not know the difference between a truth and a lie. So I am not a uh, proponent of faking it till you make it. So you don't go around saying, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, right? That's BS, right? Other people are going to know it's BS. But here's the thing, your thoughts, you can think and say to yourself, you're a millionaire. And what happens is your conscious mind may say you're full of it, but your subconscious mind, which is infinitely more powerful than your conscious mind, takes that as a command for you to become a millionaire. So you create that millionaire identity before you experience the results. And so what I'm saying is to essentially lie to yourself um, with the empowering beliefs that you have. And so, so many of us walk around and we're so self-conscious. We have uh, you know, things that we don't like about ourselves, right? And so what I had to learn to do was walk around saying and thinking to myself that, you know what, I'm confident, I'm a millionaire, I'm sexy, right? And so my conscious mind may be thinking, oh, you know, I'm not really sure about that. Again, I'm full of it, right? But my subconscious mind didn't know the difference, so it takes it as a command. So, you know, think about yourself as being confident, as becoming a millionaire, as being wealthy, as being happy. You know what, so many people walk around and they're miserable in their life. So here's, you know, key number one is start thinking to yourself, why are you so happy? You know, the uh, quality of our life is based on the quality of the questions that we ask ourselves. And so, so many people walk around and say, gosh, why am I so stupid? Well, it, what happens when you ask that question, your mind is gonna go think, well, why am I so stupid? It's gonna come up with reasons why you're stupid so the question that you should be asking yourself is why am I such a genius why am I so wealthy why am I so happy why do I love my life so much and that will make such a huge difference in your life so enjoyed this series uh, again here at the Opera Land uh, Hotel here in Nashville gonna be headed back to Dallas on Monday uh, I'll be in, in uh, Dallas on Tuesday and then fly off to Cancun on Wednesday life is awesome can't wait to have you guys traveling with me. So uh, be sure to comment on the blog. Let me know how you like this series and we'll definitely be doing many more of these. Thank you so much.